A C B A. Yes, sir. We're officially back at it. Book nice coming at you with another daily update. So happy Friday. You know, tonight at about 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we will be going live for the Articulated Comic Book Art Podcast, episode 222, if I'm not mistaken. So it's a lot to discuss, a lot of news, a lot on our plate. We still got to talk about October prizes. You know, last week we did the figgies. So we talked about no news. And this week, again, has been news heavy. So yesterday I reported that my Marvel Legends 60th anniversary villains five pack was about to convert on Big Bad Toy Store and it did. So I shipped that pile of loot immediately. The order is actually still processing, but I have the villains five pack. I have Avalanche, Wolverine, and Longshot from the retro carded X-Men wave and also the Dragon Ball GT SHF Super Saiyan for Vegeta. So I should be getting that stuff early next week. I think I'm looking to do a review on the villains five pack. Also talked about how my Bishop, my Mezco Bishop shipped. So I'll be looking to do a review on that as well. And other Hasbro news, we saw yesterday evening that the starting lineup NBA line, those figures went on sale. So they are now $29.99 as we move into All-Star Weekend. I believe that they just removed the NFT from these, which is how it should have been from the beginning. And they probably would have sold way more of these. Now I'm tempted to maybe get one or two of these guys just kind of to check them out. But $29 99 definitely sounds more reasonable. And other Hasbro news, we see Bloomberg News and other outlets reporting that Hasbro announces organizational changes and provides update on fourth quarter and full year 2022 financial results. Hasbro Inc., a global branded entertainment leader today announced leadership and organizational changes, including the elimination of approximately 15% of its global workforce this year. The reductions will start to take effect within the next several weeks. With these actions, along with ongoing systems and supply chain investments, the company is on track to achieve its goal of 250 to 300 million in annual run rate cost savings by year end 2025 to drive profitability and reinvestment in core brand growth. So 15% global workforce layoff is wow. It's like a thousand workers. They're saying that they're doing this based on the poor performance during the holiday season, even though all of the cuts and things that they did, at least within their action figure lines or their six inch action figure lines to try to save money and the price increases. And technically they're still profitable, but they just didn't make as much money as they wanted to. And that sounds like corporate greed to me. Now I have it on good authority that this article or this information actually leaked out before an email was sent to company employees. So the employees don't even know yet who's actually being laid off and who's safe and who's not. So this is why it's developing this entire article is pretty extensive. It's long. I'll go through the rest of it before tonight's show so we can discuss it and dissect it in detail. Oh, and shout out to my man Nico Reddick on Instagram. I had put out an APB for the updated Walmart exclusive Ulick the Troll figure. You know, I had the original one, but there's no Walmarts in the city like that. So he had one that was pretty much brand new straight out of the package. I don't think he really even messed around with it. Sent it to me. This figure looks great. It's a great update from the original version with the new hands and head sculpts, the weapon, you know, it's an older buck base for Hasbro, but it works really well for Ulick. And again, these head sculpts are phenomenal. Also, I can't put down this uh, amazing fantasy Marvel Legends Spider-Man either, which is very, very good as well. So looking forward to getting back on the table, doing some reviews. Again, I'm finishing up my top tens. Don't worry. And real quick, just a few cool things to note. Shout out to my man, David Walton, always showing me these little kit bash ideas and stuff like that. That originate from various groups on Facebook. You know, I'm not in any groups that are not ACBA branded groups, but here's one cool kit bash with the Howard the Duck figure from the Ultron Infinity Wave. You can utilize Jazzwares, Fortnite, Agent Jones, and you can use that body, pop the head, hands, and feet off and use the head, hands, and feet from the Marvel Legends Howard the Duck for more articulation. As you know, that original figure is very limited in range of motion. And then here's another thing you can do with a pop. I would never buy a pop, but there's 
there's that. And then finally, if you were able to get the Walgreens exclusive Sentry, which I think was the last Walgreens exclusive, you can remove his hair, which we know is windswept. Is something that I talked about when I first got the figure that I wish he had a relaxed, neutral sort of head sculpt without the hair being windswept. But the new updated Moonstone, you can utilize her hair sculpt, just peel that off, peel Sentry's off, and swap the two basically to give Sentry a relaxed look and to give Moonstone something more dynamic. So clearly you'd need multiples of both figures, but it's a quick, cool, easy little kit bash. And speaking of kit bashes, shout out to Kit Bash Customs. I just watched his little quickie review of Bishop, who looks very, very good. All right, tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come hang out with us on the ACBA podcast. Thanks for hanging out. As always, rate, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell down there. And until next time, peace. I'm in the game, I'm grinding, I got to play 24 hours in the day, 7 days out the week, I never sleep And real quick, one final news hit Yesterday I reported on the fact that the SHF Spider-Man No Way Home movie Andrew Garfield Spider-Man, that figure would no longer have the unmasked head sculpt Big Bad Toy Store just sent out an email with the updated information You can pause this and read it, but we'll talk about this on the podcast tonight I'm on my grizzly bear, 52 weeks out the year, yeah.